Hello, my name is Nigel Palmer and I'm the author of the book, The Regenerative Grower's Guide to Garden Amendments. In this short video, I wanted to talk about crushing oyster shells. Oyster shells are a wonderful resource and represent an example of closing waste gaps. The oyster shells that I use come from a local restaurant. They have a whole bunch of uses. We've talked about vinegar extractions of shells and bones. In this case, I'm going to do a little bit more with these oyster shells. I'm going to crush them. The oyster shells need to be cooked in the normal fashion as if making a vinegar extraction to get the moisture out of the shell and get the biology off the shell. Once they're cooked, they can be crushed and I like to crush them into various sizes, increasing the surface area as they go towards a fine dust. It's all about surface area. Surface area defines the rate at which the oyster shells will be assimilated into the soil. This process can be applied to bones and other kinds of shells as well. The key here is the idea of closing waste gaps. What's available in your backyard that you can use to do something similar? and what simple tools might be available for you to be able to crush these resources into a fine powder that can be used in the garden. I use oyster shells in a very fine powder when I plant my crops, when I transplant. The larger sizes can be used in the compost pot. Alright, so I need some more oyster dust to, to plant my tomatoes today, so I thought I'd show you uh, the process of getting various levels of uh, oyster dust. The process starts with oysters that I get from a local restaurant and uh, I take these and I cook them. I cook them on the grill or in a fire pit with a can and it gets all of the biology off them um, and they're dry and they'll break up easily um, and turn into a nice powder. So the first step is to take these larger shells and break them up into smaller shells. And I made this tool. This is nothing more than a pipe with a, uh, a plug at the bottom of it. And I use this to break things apart. There. The next step is to start straining things up. Now I want to get different size for different uses, so this first step merely takes the big pieces out. And this goes back to the pot. more breaking up and then I have this next layer careful of the dust I often hold my breath when I'm doing this so as not to breathe the dust now I have coarse shells not so coarse shells and a relatively fine powder and this is very useful, this powder. I like to save this powder. I'll save that in here. But what I'm really looking for is the very, very fine powder. And for that, I use a very fine sieve, and I'll put this through here. So that quick process gives me four levels of, of shells. I've got the coarser shells that I broke up. I've got the next level of relatively fine shells. Then I've got the next level of shells, which is, I can use this for planting um, and things like that. But I have the fine dust, which I like for transplanting and for feeding the soil before I plant. For a next level of breaking things down, I'm going to take this intermediate level and I'm going to put it in my rock crusher and this is nothing more than a, a piece of pipe that I've welded a bottom to and it fits this so that I can crush there. I've also made a modified 
piece of bar with a, a flat point on the end for crushing as well. So now I'll take this stuff that's pretty well broken up and pour it in and crush it. That packs it in pretty well. And then with this tool, makes it a little finer. And now I go to here. And the leftover is saved for the next part of the process. So I'll repeat this. So things are moving along pretty well, and I'm getting various levels of crushed oyster, sh oyster shells for use in my garden. And then I've got this, which I just crushed through the crusher, and uh, this is what didn't make it through the very fine sieve. So I'll put that in here, and go up more of this second tier, and you can see the dust going everywhere and I love to do this in a different location each time so that I'm mineralizing the local area um, by default. Again I'm always conscious of the wind and hold my breath when uh, I'm doing this. Now I have the fine dust that I'm looking for today for transplanting my tomatoes and it's all about surface area. The smaller the dust particle, the easier it will be to assimilate into the soil solution. So this is perfect for transplanting. And then I have this next level. This is a little bit coarser. This is good for transplanting as well. It'll just take a little bit more time for the material to get into the soil. Here's another level of crushed rock. So I have the dust, the near dust, the crush, and this might be good for a compost pile, a nice layer of a compost pile. I have the crush shells that are can, I can do more work with if I wanted to. My cooked shells and the raw oysters from the restaurant. So this is my process for crushing oyster shells and using them in my garden to uh, feed my soil the dust, the next dust, crushed shells, and these are the tools that I do it with. This is a homemade crusher, stores easily, and a homemade sieve for gross level, next level sieve for the intermediate, and then a fine sieve for the dust. So what's in your backyard that you can use to close waste gaps to feed the soil in your garden?